Well, friends, it's Curtis Robinson, and I am running Hell's Gates, who is our barbarian build for the hero class. And I'm going to tell you, I forgot to hit the camera twice. I fought two bosses, one uh, Black Blade Kindred, which is basically a giant gargoyle, and I also took out the Fell Twins, and I just forgot to turn on the camera. I don't know what was wrong with me. Anyways, I'm here in Mountaintop of the Giants. Um, <clears throat> I got a lot of work to be done here, and I like this place. Um, I'll tell you first and foremost that um, there is plenty of experience to be gotten here. The tarnish. Oh my, I feared well. As for his I hope you You were about to the life of only so that what a hope for your assembly. But how would the Lord chosen to spare if you up and attain law and heed the words of I chosen tarnish descend into seek audience if you inherit the flame of frenzy. Your flesh and the girl setting you on the right the path of the earn the earth true and incinerate. Oh, may chaos! May chaos take the world. Man, that guy is seriously a zealot. Okay, so we're here at the Zamor ruins. This is the first place in Mount Top of the Giant. Oh, I gotta talk to Melina one second. Ah, sorry about that, guys. Let's just click on the show. Vic. She's going to tell me a whole bunch of nothing, I think. There is some... My purpose now, I have said regardless, I won't allow and not even... Okay. Got it done. Back to what I was saying. I really like the um, Zamor ruins. So these uh, heroes of Zamor, like that guy there, I call them Frosty. They love the frost... Uh, power and I can't say I blame them they're pretty great let's uh, see if I can get this guy maybe get some shots on him and maybe he gets me thank god let's try this guy these eagles are just still tear you up you just gotta make sure you kill them at range I have been fortunate enough to kill them at clo close up but it's just harder alright so once you get the high ground over here, you can just have some fun killing these uh, heroes of Zamora. I do it with the bow or with magic in most cases. Um, you can do it however it is that you want. I don't think it makes you a poor player if you have any other kind of option. All right, of course, let's get where I can at least see the dudes. Here we go. It's taking me about five, I think. Hit. Ooh, maybe more. More than five hits. It's going to take me a bunch of hits. I'm going to try to blow this frost on our big empty mountain in here. 465 damage looks pretty good. I think I hit him in the face or something. <clears throat> I've got those uh, two talismans up too. Seems like I'd be doing more damage, but whatever. They don't jump up here. I'm not jumping down there. Basically like shooting fish in a barrel, right? He'll come back out. I'll shoot his buddy instead. Maybe some item crafting. Let's go ahead and make this volcano pot I've been talking about. What? I've only got two? Maybe it's because I've got something else that I could be putting, be throwing. Yeah, I do. I've got seven fire pots. Let's do these two also. Let's go and get rid of those. All right. There we go. Let's just hit this guy. And a little anticlimactic. How about a fire pot? All right. Let's see what this uh, volcano pot does. Pop, pop, pop. Yeah, it just keeps hitting them. That's pretty cool. Here we are. Okay, let's see what this does. Well, I seem to be missing a whole lot. There we go. That's a good hit. Anyways. So it'd be fun to shoot, hit him with a few pots. How you go about killing these guys is completely up to you, but when they're down there, I can't shoot them easily. I 
could lob, you know, some fireballs or something on, maybe. I will admit that my fireballs are fairly weak because I'm not a faith build. Eh, 300 is not bad. Good job, haha. -ha. Alright, not bad. He'll come out. Come on, you can do it. Let's go back to the bow. He's at a good range, he should not be able to die. Seriously. Of course, I did not hit him for some reason. Try this. There we go. Look at that, five grand, right? Not bad, not bad. Oh, get out. <clears throat> More of that over here. So there is a uh, bell bearing that I really want. It's right in that hole. So we're going to go back to a whole bunch of this. 399, 391, 310. And then with the same arrow, kind of weird, getting a different result. Let's get this guy going. Let the other guy move back out where I can shoot him again. Now, typically, I would say it would be very bad, um, very bad idea. I grew two or three or four of these guys. <laughs> My experiences show me <laughs> that we're going to climb up here. Now let's pluck this guy a few more times. Pick a guy. Equal opportunity employer, man. I'm trying to fill these guys as they're available rather than picking one guy. Hit the ground, I think. Let's go the face. And he's down. <laughs> to finish this guy off before he gets to us, I think. Shot for you, partner. Bing! Dead. Need to back out just a little bit. Fire pot. Or volcano pot. Messed. In and out. Dang it. Did I seriously throw all those? Two instead of having all of them. All right, let's go shoot him. See if he creeps on close to me. Volcano pot. And he's out of my range. Dang it! 
<laughs> Alright, you. Ah, push the wrong button. Pretty cool. Got my potions back. That's pretty good. Let's just jump on down here and get back into sword action. I really want this bell bearing. But dink. Smithing stone, miner's bell bearing number three. Pretty cool, pretty important. Get some other items up. Now, if you thought we were done, well, we're not. We're gonna come over here. We're going to enjoy letting the mimic tier play around. I'm gonna get on the bow. Of course, I only have 15 arrows left. That's not good. Uh, we got 10 of these. Make a few arrows, maybe. Make 20 arrows. All right, I'm gonna have to get some arrows. Okay, not a big deal. Let's go and drink. Let's walk right on over here. We're gonna sleep mimic tear all over these guys. We're getting big man. Mm, stone pots. There we go, there's a good hit. I am getting my hits in. And I don't miss. So I got a dented shot. Which is my favorite. Pretty stinking great. Another hero of some war. Perhaps. I'm out of his, uh, out of visual sight. Out of ammo. I have no doubt that my moment here can totally take him. Come on. Nope. I was going to give me a shot. Did not do it. Not too bad. So I've got the bell bearing that I want for me to just keep fighting these guys. Just be, if I just wanted the yeah, experience. But we do have one more dude and there he is. Let's see what kind of damage we can do here. Hmm. That was a good move. He got me and them here. He's got a move similar to mine. That is a really good move. I mean, I can't, I can't deny that. All right. I think that McTeer finished him off for me. All right, so we knew for a fact that we need some arrows. Let's just do a quick equipment check. And when I click on that, it says I have one and none in storage. All right, not a problem. We're going to have to make a run. But I showed you guys where the Zamor ruins are, how to get 5,000 
uh, runes every time you whack one of those dudes, which is pretty cool. We're getting ready to go do something else, but first, we grab a few arrows. I tried to keep about 200 in stock, so you can tell I've gone through a ton of arrows today. else I want to do real quick if you guys will hold for a second let me show you why I wanted that bell bearing so most of you guys probably understand that the smithing stones you know you got to hunt them you know you got to go find them and then when you find them you need to put them on your weapon weapon gets better and so on and so forth this one is the regular standard smithing stone one so you go here all for bell bearing I also happen to have this medicine peddler's bell bearing that. okay so we go here, and now I can purchase not only the one, two, three, now I can do four, five, and six, which is pretty important. And when you click on these, you can see number held is 11, so I've got plenty of those. All right, I should have plenty of those. Let's go see if I can expend the ones I have, and if I'm short, I can buy some more. Then we want the next one that's going to give us uh, seven, eight, nine, I guess. No, 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 no. Oh, don't pay me. Just lay out your... All right, so... I need sevens. This one needs fives. But this bow, which is lower, I need six more number fives. Let's go get those real quick. So again, you want these bows to be up so that whenever you do damage, you don't have to use 4,000 arrows like I'm using. You can use one, and it does an incredible amount of damage. That's super helpful, super important. Alright. So I need number fives. And I think I need, I need six of those. Alright. And then I need probably 12 days of my one. Alright. Let's see if I can upgrade this item. Actually, I needed some fours. I think I needed some fours as well from other item. Four... Got ten? I think it was fives. I can't remember. Alright. <laughs> Sorry about that guys. Let's go back and uh, plug these in real quick. So again, buying these makes it so much easier to level up your weapon. And later in the game, you, you really want to be able to do that. All right, so now, here we go. There's 12. I need to max this out with sixes. So there's the two, there's the four, there's the six. And I'm on sevens, which I, don't, I can't buy this. Pretty cool, though, right? I could do this one. I need four more. And then six more. I need ten more number fives. If I wanted to max that out. I don't cast that many spells, so it's not that big a deal. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get back to the game. You guys surely didn't want to watch me do all that administrative garbage. Let's get here. I don't have to fight the Zamor guys again unless I just want to. I mean, it's worth 5,000 runes, which is pretty cool. I think I'm going to zip on fast. I already got the item I wanted, which was that other uh, smithing stone bell bearing. All right. Definitely. Uh, this is going to be freaking hard. All right. Let's, let's go back to what I'm good at with flying creatures. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did a little bit better damage, too. Keep that in mind. Because... I upgraded the weapon. Okay, right, let's zip around this corner, picking up stuff as I go. I swore I saw a bad guy with the corner of my eye, and I was 
paranoid or just delusional. All right, here we go. This is a good place to fight, right up there. This is a good place to fight, right here. All right, we're gonna jump down. We're going to create the big smack down on a couple of guys. Big smack, Short link. Just the way I like them. All right, the big guy is the, the next guy that we got to worry about. I don't think I can kill this guy without aggroing him. Don't ask me how he didn't know. But he will know once I kill these guys for some reason. So powerful. Yeah, I knew I was going to aggro him. All right, let's bail out of here. He's going to make a smack at me. I'm going to go back to my uh, shooting spot. Now you can fight him however it is that you want, but I prefer the high ground. He can hit me with fire. He probably will. And his whip is quite long as well. Keep that in mind. So he goes to make his whip around. I may end up having to find him close quarters here. Let's see what he does. Hmm. Typically he doesn't jump up there, and typically he doesn't just stand there like a bump on a log. This will get him excited. That's his limit, I guess. how he does with fire pots. He didn't smack me. It's funny that he's a fire guy and yet he doesn't like the volcano pots. Odd behavior, even for a, even for AI. Hey, yeah, got me. That was a good hit. That was totally legit too. Oh. Hey, let's move back to a better position. Don't want to have to endure a whole bunch of that. And it inflicted some blood loss on me too. Well played. Well played indeed, sir. Kind of curious now. Firebomb. Oh, he's going to firebomb me back. Ha! Ah. Fireballs.
Hmm. Come on, dude. Now remember, I've got pretty sinking good armor. But this guy whacked the crap out of me. There he goes again. Oh, man. Not sure how I'm missing him. likes that move. He's like, yeah, you like the fire pots and the bow and arrow move. Yes, I do. Hear that angle? His whip is pretty stinking serious. I wonder what the chance of me getting his whip might be. That is the worst move in the game, by the way. You go to click on the guy, you go to lock on, and it turns you. In what world would you want that move? It just doesn't make sense. Like, instead of clicking on the guy, turn me away from him so he can hit me in the back. Alright. I'm going to try something that I don't normally do. Let's get this white pickled foot here. And let's smack it. Do a little bit more item crafting. Just one. A little more ought to do it. Alright. I wonder if I get something good because I clicked the silver pickled foot. I don't think he left me anything. Okay. Well, here, uh, just I guess that's the way it is. Man. Mm -mm. This guy is going to have to pay for his friend's crimes as I smack him in the back. Come on. Come on. Take care of him for sure. All right. This is the big, uh, this is the trick. We want to get over there, and we're going to then proceed to get, uh, got to fight a couple of small guys. we got to fight. Fire giant. Fire giant is very tough. I'll catch you guys soon. Be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you probably in five minutes.